Hi guys, Berry Babe checking in. It's one of those days. I did the whole vlog and then I guess the camera wasn't on and then the timer went off and my husband texted me. He's into sappy Christmas movies and he was trying to watch football game and he wants to record the mistletoe something or other and couldn't figure out how to do that on DVR2. So I said, I'm trying to get a vlog in before it gets dark. So it's chilly out here. You can see the trees are naked. I looked out for the first, I really looked for the first time today, standing at the sink doing dishes and then all the trees in the backyard, that whole panorama is naked, naked. I can see every shingle on the house behind us. Usually I can't see them at all when the trees are full. Well, I did two videos yesterday, one after that eventful visit to my plastic surgeon. <laughs> Instead of a tit and a tit lid, I'm going to end up with two tiny titties. But, um, <laughs> you know, I said to him, at least if they're even, I can get falsies and even them up to make them bigger. When they're different sizes, then I have to do padding and that sort of thing. So, I did not have, I think I told you I didn't have the nerve to actually wear them to denude myself. You know, that occurred to me that that might have been insensitive to some people, and I apologize if you were offended. Um, my best friend had, um, they discovered cancer, and she had to have a double mastectomy, and then they did reconstruction, and... Um, I was talking about having my boobs done and I, I said, you know, I feel really insensitive because you're having to have this done. She says, well, because hers, she didn't have to have any chemo or any radiation or anything. And she said, well, it's one way to get my boobs lifted without having to pay for it. But um, she ended up picking round and she said she wished she'd pick teardrop. And I've been doing research um, lately, but they... Um, we're not able to preserve her nipples. They tattooed them on. So she has nice round size D breasts with two bullseye nipples. Um, so anyway, with him having a hissy fit, um, he said, when I come back in January, I have to weigh at least the same. And I know if I go in there and I'm one pound up, he's going to tell me I can't lose that. So 142 is my number. And I, I stopped the HCG. I've had some dizziness. And it could be a couple of different things. But I thought, you know, I've been on HCG almost continuously for the last five years or more. And so maybe it's time. To take a break. Um, if I get onto keto, I have the option of possibly dropping a couple pounds there. I know at Christmas I'm going to eat crap and I'm going to put on weight, so it's going to be tricky making sure I'm 142 at home before I leave the house. If I'm any lower, I'll have to wear blue jeans because they're heavy, and my boots, they're heavy. <laughs> Oh, he, you know, he says, but you've lost two pounds. Well, you know, when you've lived your life 300 pounds, two pounds is just a spit in the wind. It's 20 pounds, but two pounds, to him, maybe two pounds is a big deal. To me, two pounds, it was two pounds, and I was bloated on the day I went to see him. Damn. Anyway, so yesterday I was... After a water pill the night before, I was 141.9, but I'm going to call it 142. And this morning I was 143, which I was anticipating being up because of the water pill. And I was an imprudent eater yesterday. And I haven't been real great today either. This, this whole, you're too thin. I'm too thin because every pound I lose makes more loose skin. And that means then he has to deal with it. When it was still beefy, um, he was really confident in what he was going to do. But I didn't want a beefy middle. I wanted a slender middle. So I've talked him, I don't know if he'll remember it by the time I go in there, but I've talked him into doing a pull me up all the way around. So he'll pull me up and attach it attach it to my ribs under my breasts and then he's going to actually reshape the breasts 
which maybe means moving the nipples again, which last time one was real sensitive and one was numb. Now they're both about even, but um, every time he cuts them, you know, you, you take risks. But I, I just want to be, whatever they end up to be, I'd like them to be even, but that means a couple more years. Actually yesterday, and I may have said this, when I put on my, I had body bra on, and um, I had stuffed this one, so I had a B. My midriff was looking pretty good, and a B looked like plenty. So if I end up with two A's, <laughs> or less than, then I'm probably going to look at implants, especially if the cost, if I can get both things done for what one would cost me, then okay, so, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I have two miscellaneous amusing things to share. Oh, I, I, so yesterday was LDW, today's day two in purgatory, tomorrow will be day three in purgatory, so I'll start my P3 keto um, Tuesday. Friday I go have lunch with the girls, and I've thought, hmm, I wonder if the restaurant would cook me a scrambled eggs and bacon for lunch. That would put me right in the ball game, and then I wouldn't have to worry about, I have to turn down Michigan, they always give you hash browns, and they always want to bring you toast or English muffins or something. And so I'll just have them leave that off. But anyway, so two things that were amusing. Um, yesterday, I stopped on the way on the way home. I stopped in Walmart to get my husband some pretzels. Now he likes um, Walmart pretzel sticks. They're skinny. They have regular pretzel sticks, and then they have really thin ones. And I don't really care for the thin ones, but I'll eat them if I'm jonesing for carbs, and that's all there is. But um, so. The one Walmart I went to didn't have any. So this Walmart, you know, bottom shelf in the back. So I bend over and I fish out. I always buy at least six when I'm someplace because they not all the Walmarts carry them all the time. So I fish out as far as I can and way back in there. Now this is a bottom shelf, way back in there. I just can't bend over any farther and I'll be damned if I'm getting down on my hands and knees. So usually I look around and I grab a kid. I didn't see any kids, but there was a man at the end of the aisle stocking pop. Now, from where I was, I couldn't tell if he was a Walmart man or I said, excuse me, are you the Coke man? And he just went. <laughs> he had on a light blue shirt. He was the Pepsi guy. <laughs> now I'm a Coke girl, Diet Coke girl. So pop, stocking, you know. I think Coke, but he came and he got on his hands and knees and he crawled back in there and I walked out of there with six bags of pretzels for my husband and I was amused. Um, I had, you know, I, I don't know for you younger people, but you know, 20 years or so back, there was this big, which do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? And they had the taste tests and the challenge and it's a real iconic thing if you're if you haven't been around, it wouldn't mean anything to you. But, um, yeah, big rivalry, big, big rivalry. So the other thing was, um, as I pulled, I, I came a back way. Uh, at our In our Flint store that's closest to our house, there's a Sam's, and then there's the Walmart. And the way I was coming, I had to go past the Sam's to get to Walmart. Well, you know, in front of Sam's, they have this huge crosswalk with the stripes and that tells drivers that if there's somebody in the stripes you have to wait for them well there was this family of about seven but were they walking together no they were walking about six to eight feet apart so here comes one kid shambling along and then here comes another kid and then, then there's a mother shambling and then it looks like there's a brother and then maybe grandpa and then maybe the dad and i'm just watching them just kind of shamble, stumble across the crosswalk, and I was thinking, oh my God, they look like zombies. Zombies at Sam's. We have an author in Michigan who does um, things like ghosts in Grayling and um, poltergeist and pinconning. He does Michigan stories, horror stories for young kids. 
And so, you know, we have Walmart, we have Sam's Club zombies. I just, picturing them going in, and it's so close after Halloween, and uh, they've been talking about Walking Dead on TV. I don't watch it. I'm not a real zombie person. One of the TV shows I watched had some of the family members dressing up like zombies, and then, oh, it was that American housewife. I think she was running in a marathon, sort of with the double Fitbit neighbor. If you haven't, go on, um, I don't know which network it is, but go catch up on the one where they do the, the I think it might be the last one, where they where she does the run, because there's this really sprightly woman who, who used to be fat, and now she's thin, so she's one of those like reformed smokers, wants everybody to be the same, and she wears two Fitbits. So that's what they call her, they call her the Fitbit lady. And, um, Lord, where was I going with that? I don't know. So anyway, I don't know if I'll start exercising tomorrow, um, if I'll uh, start the day after. I, I do need to start toning because the only way I'm going to get smaller now is to tone. And if I build muscle, then my weight will increase with the muscle. So what I need to do is measure my waist. And that will be, I'll have to go more by my waist measurement than by the pounds. I hate being so tied to pounds, but it's coming down to that. So, um, I got bacon in, I gotta go. No, I took the bait, did I take the, no, I got bacon in, I gotta go. <laughs> oh God, I put one pan in, I put the other pan in, I put the other pan in. So, I will maybe see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.